for all your tech needs and help. Video Maker 180. Feel free to either leave a comment in the open forum below or a video response. Thanks for watching and please enjoy. Today I'll be doing a demo or sort of a walkthrough of how the bamboo touch and pen right here, how they kind of work and what you can use them for and all that good stuff. So guys, let's get started. So first off, I'll show you all the preferences and all the basically all the stuff that you can customize with your bamboo pen and touch and I'll just show you in the demo also you can um, this tablet will um, double as a ginormous trackpad instead of if you don't want to use the one on your computer so I'll just use this for the sake of the demo and then to click you use this bottom down this bottom button down here and it will obviously you can customize it too to be a different key but so I'll just open the preferences and I'll use this Take the pen out here. So basically, here is use the pen. So here's the system preferences. Down here, you have your bamboo um, preference pane. It will be under the other column over here. So I'll get it fired up here. So if you click on the bamboo preference pane, you see up here on the top, you have your pen adjustments, tablet, touch and speed, touch functions, and pop-up menu. And also just a little side note here, you also can do the multi-touch gestures as you can do on the trackpad, which is very nice. So I'm not going to get too much in detail on here, but you can see you can make the eraser feel, do all this really awesome stuff that can really make the use of the pen really intuitive and nice. So then down here you have your keys over here that you can adjust. You can make this is the touch toggle. You see this one, like I showed you before, is the click button, so you can do that. And you can adjust if you're right or left-handed. Just a ton of cool stuff in here, guys. You can just some fun stuff to mess around with. It'll show you a demo of how to touch this, touch it and do all this stuff. It's really awesome, guys. It's really nice and useful. So I'll quit that. Next up, I'll show you how you can use it in um, Photoshop. So open up Photoshop right here get a new project going and in here you can obviously use this with the um, brush tool or the paintbrush tool whatever you like to call it and this pen I believe I'm not exactly sure but I believe it has 502 levels of pressure sensitivity so you can get a ton of different um, looks in your brush so the harder you press on the tablet the um, harder it will make an impression the thicker it will be so I'll just show you a little demo here I'll go lightly and then I'll go more hard so so you see I kind of went lighter up there and then as I farther the farther I went down it got more um, hard and wide so or more um, a darker color so you can see I'll just do another little so I'm, I, obviously I'm not trying to draw anything um, elaborate but so you can see how the all the pressures of sensitivity can work in here it's very useful it's pretty nice you can also use the um, you can use the pencil tool if you're sketching somebody or something. And also, I'll show you here. I'll switch back to the... Or no, I don't have to. You can also um, use this back side of the pen, which is really useful, to erase. So that's pretty nice and useful. So it's it actually gives you the feel of as you're, as you're, it, you, bleh, as you're using a real pen or pencil. So you have the eraser on the back, so that's pretty nice. And also, if you're sketching somebody or whatever you may be doing, you can use the pencil tool, so that's pretty nice. So I'll close Photoshop up here for you. And lastly, I'll show you a pretty cool feature that I, when I bought this tablet, I didn't know it had, but it's pretty cool. So I'll open up Pages here, my text editing application. Open a landscape um, file here. And you can, it actually has handwriting recognition with the help of the ink application up here that installs free when you download your software for the bamboo pen and tablet. So included, it comes with the ink application. So it's, it's just basically a preference pane and you can adjust stuff, but it has hand recognition or handwriting recognition, excuse me. So, and but it doesn't recognize cursive or script writing, I don't believe, but I'll just write um, something. It might not recognize it, but I'll try. I'll just write this is a test or test. So T E S T. And you see it, it kind of discombobulates the word a little bit, but it still gets it down. I'll type another one. Hello. So you see it it's not perfect, but 
like I showed you in the max speed you dictate demo, everything's not perfect, but it still works pretty good. I mean, you, I can probably type faster than I can write, but it's kind of a little intuitive thing that's kind of cool that you can show off to your friends that it's pretty cool with the bamboo tablet. So guys, this has just been a short demo of the bamboo tablet here. The, this is the pen and touch version by Wacom or Wacom. So guys, that's just a short brief demo that I've showed you of the tablet here. Thanks for watching. If you like the comment or if you like the content of the video, please subscribe and thanks for watching and peace.